Hello, welcome to lesson 7, Comments in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we will understand what is comment, types of comments and the advantages of comments. What is comment? Comment involves human readable descriptions inside of computer programs detailing what the code is doing. Or the other definition is, commenting is the art of describing what your program is going to do in high level English statements. It means that you are adding a piece of code in your application and you are going to describe what that code is going to do in using comments. Commenting is, the, is best done before actually writing the code for your program. It means that the best practice to write a comment is before writing the code in your application. Types of comments. Single line comment it starts with a double forward slash. Multi line comment starts with forward slash and asterisk key and ends with asterisk key with the forward slash. XML documentation comment. It starts with triple slash forward slashes. And to keep in mind, C sharp compiler ignore the comments. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio to understand what is single line comment, multi line comment. Now, I want to print Anchor Technologies, a string called Anchor Technologies, on the console window. I'm using console class for that. Right line, then I'll pass. Anchor Technologies. Now I'll copy out the stream sentence. Now if I want to comment the first and first statement Anchor Technologies using single line command, what I'll do, I'll just place double forward slash in front of console. This is a this is the example for single line comment. Now if you want to comment the entire thing, what I'll do is I'll just start with the forward slash and the asterisk key and end with asterisk key with the forward with the forward slash. This is how this is this is the example for multi-line comment. How to comment and uncomment? There are two ways. The first thing is you have to select the lines then you can press comment or uncomment button in the text editor toolbar. Right now in the Visual Studio, I'll just remove this comments. Here, if I want to comment out this sentence, this entire sentence, this Anchor Technologies, what I'll do is, I'll just go to the Visual Studio Designer and here I, we ha I have two buttons, one for commenting, another for uncommenting. And I press on this commenting button, just comment out the selected line. And when I press back the uncomment button, it does it does uncommenting now the other way is keyboard shortcut one control k with control c is for commenting out and control k with control u is for uncommenting here c stands for commenting and u stands for uncommenting i'll jump back into presentation here i want to comment out the first line what i'll do is i'll just copy this i'll just copy the sentence then i'll go with control k with Control C. This is commented out with the keyboard shortcut Control K with Control C. Now, if I want to uncomment this, Control K with Control U. It uncommented the selected line. Now, jumping at, back into presentation, we'll understand the advantages of comments. Comments are necessary when some other programmer later work on it. It means that suppose if you are working in a project and in that project you have written some piece of code. And due to some reasons, you are no more working in that project. The third person who, repl who replaces you should be able to understand the code what you are written. Means that comment helps the third person to understand the code what you are written. And there may be other situation telling that if you if yourself have coded some application and um, and you are not able to work on that application and later on when you move back into the same application, you should be able to understand the code what you were written previously. The, the other, other part of the sentence this this will also helpful when you want to work again on the program after one or two years when you forget that what code performed what task this helps using the comments comments are very helpful in understanding large programs and program flow it means that in your application there is a bulk of code and if you want to understand that bulk of code piece by piece then you, uh, you can use the comments for that now We'll go back to the slides. 
your in types of comments will left out with XML documentation command. To understand that, we'll jump into Visual Studio. I just remove this sentence. Now, we'll just create a class called To understand deep in classes, we'll see in the next session. I'll name the class as demo and I'll make it as public. Now, if we want to call this class in the main method, I'll do like this demo, create an object of it to understand clearly what is class and object. We'll see those things in the next session, in the coming sessions. Equal to new, I'm creating object of class demo here. And now I'll show you the use of XML document. Before doing that, I'll just try to call the console class. And when I move, when I move over on that, it will tell me the description of it. Means class system dot console. It represents the standard input, output, and error streams for console applications. Right now, what I'll do is I'll just over the mouse on key on demo. Demo. It's not telling us what what actually it's doing. To explain what demo class is doing, we'll go with XML documentation command. How to start with that? Just type three forward slashes. It creates XML documentation for you. Documentation command for you. Here you write what this demo class is going to do. This demo class is for demo purpose. Now when I over on this. I build this application. Now, when over on this, this demo describes us what it is. For that description, we are written in the XML documentation command. What this demo is going to do, we are written in this documentation, XML documentation. We explain the purpose of that demo here. This demo class is for demo purpose. So, when I call this demo class in my main method, and when over on that demo. It tells me what it is going to do. It is telling that this demo class is only for demo purpose. Similarly, we'll create a method public add method and here we are going to pass two variables int a comma int b and you are returning that return a plus b. And when I call this in my main method, it is add method with two parameters in it, two integer parameters, pi comma pi, pi comma four. And when I over on this, this method is not telling us what actually it's going to do. To make that, we'll use XML documentation command. How? Just type three forward slashes. It creates a summary. I'll just type a summary of it. What this method is going to do? This is Going to have two numbers. Now, now I'm telling the value of a. Similarly, I'll copy this. And I'll now I, when we build this application, it builds successfully. Now I went over on this. It tells us this is going to add two numbers. This is the description of that add method. You can see here the purpose of XML documentation command is it just tells us the class or method what we create. It describes it. Very clearly using the XML documentation command. Right now, we'll jump back into the presentation. Here, 
you can see the tools to generate XML document. Ghost doc from Submain, Atominer, uh, Sandcastle from Microsoft. What are these tools going to do? Suppose you are already having an application and application with the code in it. Now, if you want to convert that application, that XML document into a helpful document or a referring document, then you can use this tools to generate your XML into a helpful document. Thank you. Please subscribe to Anchor Technologies below.